Good morning, YouTube. This is Sue of Pursue the Dream. I'm back. I spent a week in Colorado visiting my lovely daughters and stayed in this wonderful hostel, Solarium International Hostel in Fort Collins. Got to have lunch with my friends Dan and Carol in Boulder and with my lovely daughter, Teresa, while we waited for Olivia to graduate. Yay! She's going to spend six months traveling in Europe. wonder where she gets that travel bug from. I didn't do much of anything the whole week I was there, but I really did enjoy my stay and got rested up a bit. This was such a cool little place. I had my own room. Here's the backyard, and here are the teepees. You won't see that at the Hilton. This is where you went to smoke your pot. You gotta love Colorado. Okay, I'm starting to move things into the van. So I couldn't get this chair taken out. Even the disability place, they talked to Ford and Ford said, no, no, no. And the problem is liability with the insurance company. Should I have an accident? You take that chair out and disconnect. It disconnects all the airbags. So I don't really think that's a good idea. So I'm just going to work around it. I built that little <laughs> table crazy thing. Anyway, that'll hold some shit. That's all I have is shit. It's incredible how much, how little I have and yet how much it looks like when you go to put it into a van. Van's different. I mean, the RV didn't have a lot of space, at least in my mind, but it had more than this. <laughs> So I have all my clothes under there. This is my whole living space right here. I've got a couple feet. That'll be out of the way, but not much. And I like this chair. I would like it better if it folded up, but it's a nice solid chair. And if nothing else, I need a place to sit. Cause you know, when I sit, Okay, so I have anymore. camping stuff in this area above that wheel well. Um, a tent. I try to cram a sleeping bag in there. My noodle. Lots of tarps. I actually have more tarps. I have way lots of tarps <laughs> because I'm getting ready to work on the or I haven't done the building a tarp thing yet. I guess I'll wait until I get to the beach to do that. I'll have plenty of time. Anyway, here's my water bottle, which I don't have water in yet, and I need to get a second one. So it needs to go here, and then I have a little one. But I might move this over so that the pump, here's the pump, I haven't put it on yet. There's a spigot so that, the spigot would hang out onto that other side, but those are little things that I'll do once we start living There's in it. There's not that much wall space. So I hung this to put hand towels and dish towels and there's dish rags. And somewhere in there will be a caddy with, maybe it'll be sitting in here with dishwashing liquid and cleaning supplies, which I'm gonna have to I also added these LED strip lights. They just sort of roll out. They're really bright, but I like them. I was gonna show you my, I just hooked up the propane and it works. Look how bright it is in here with those lights. So the next thing I did was get the refrigerator hooked up. It actually took a lot longer than I had planned. I ended up putting a socket under the passenger seat. There it is. When I'm driving, I can just take it out and put it in the dash. And I added a second 12 volt outlet on the other side of the passenger seat. There's my fuse box, also under the passenger seat. 
and all those some things are getting organized Ugh, there's an awful lot to do so three times I've taken everything and reorganized it as best I could and I have to keep getting rid of things this stuff will go on the hitch in the back but all this I'm leaving behind and putting in my mother's storage unit. There's more things I had to get rid of. This is one version of the back. But then I found this really cool table in the basement and decided to use that. So Tuesday the auctioneers came to start clearing out my mother's house. But her driveway was so steep they couldn't get up. So they had to walk it all down the hill. This went on Tuesday, Wednesday, and finally on Thursday they were done. The first day they hauled things out to take to the dump. But it was really good stuff and I had to go through and pull out things that I could salvage. After that I told them don't throw anything away. They were going to haul this to the dump. That's ridiculous. It's in great shape. And look at this fantastic trunk. Why would you throw something like that away? It's wasteful. I really was not happy with the job they did. It took too long at uh, $150 an hour. But they did finally get everything cleared out of the house. Now it's just kind of spooky. So all that was a little sad and maddening. But I have good news. Faith has been sold. This is Chelsea and Allie. They're the new owners, and they're going to take great care of her. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I still have things to put away. It's not going to be very well organized. But I'm going anyway. <sighs>